Okay, there's another short question from our YouTube subscriber. He asked me what if uh, the floor is a different height because um, usually it is the ceiling that is in a different height. For example, this one in this living room, it's higher compared to this kitchen or dining area. And he asked me what if it's the floor is different. So I think this is the best example because I have here on this dining and kitchen area, this is the floor. It's straight from the kitchen to the dining and up to that room while the living area is much higher with three steps compared to that ground floor. So it's easy. You just need to um, create, go to your uh, room elements and then put a platform. So this is the platform. So I have how many platforms here? So yeah, this is my platform. And then when you run your calculation, go to the assessment zone, you need to increase this calculation surface into uh, whatever the height of your um, floor is. So this one, in this example, it's 0.55. Compared to this one in my kitchen, this is 0.8 because I consider the chairs and the kitchen counter, not the floor. So yeah, it's easy. Just use the platform because um, for example, in ceiling, yes, I uh, we understand that if it's lower, you can create just like that. And if it's the floor, then you need to create another one, which is uh, from these uh, room elements, the platform. All right, so I hope you learned something for this one. It's a very short question, and it's very important also because this height of the floor also affects your calculation result. So thank you so much and see you again on the next video. Bye.